our wildlife pond we were built in hibernaculum by UK amphibians and all things wildlife. Hi everyone, here we show you today how the tadpoles are thriving in our wildlife pond. As you can see, they love munching on the algae in the pond. Another tip too, you can feed them a bit of tropical fish flake, they love this. Just sprinkle it, make sure you sprinkle it quite fine on the top of the pond, not too much, and just watch them go and eat it. If you look closely enough, a lot of the tadpoles are starting to get their back legs now. So as soon as they start getting their back legs, they quickly get their front legs. You can see this one on top of the algae, eating away on it, but soon it'll have its front legs and it'll be hopping off into the wildlife. So types of foods you can use to feed the tadpoles. As mentioned earlier, I use tropical fish flake. You can sprinkle this in the pond and that's what they're feeding on at the minute in the picture. Also, you can feed them spinach. If you boil it with boiling water and then you can throw little clumps of spinach in too, that will help. Um, or you could even freeze the spinach in some um, ice cube trays and then just plop um, an ice cube or spinach in now and again. That works wonders. You can also feed them frozen bloodworm. That's good. Frozen Daphnia. They like that too. Um, little bits of raw meat. Um, just small, small pieces of raw meat. They'll enjoy that too. Notice the tadpoles, they normally swim around when it's the warmer area of the water. Uh, the sun's shining directly on the pond at the minute, that, so it's nice and warm, so they're swimming on the edge. If you catch them on a the morning, they will be at the top end of the pond when it's warmest with the sun, sunlight shining on that. Here's some of my lavender I've got growing on the edge of the pond, which as mentioned before attracts insects so insects could fall in the pond and the tadpoles will eat the insects too so it's a win-win situation you get insects around the pond pollinating all your plants and then the unfortunate ones might fall in the pond and the tadpoles will eat them as a source of food Also, not a lot of people know about this tip for tadpoles, but with all the plants around the pond, you can see the yellow monkey musk, all the plants with pollen in it. Now, pollen does actually feed the tadpoles. 
So any pollen that falls in the pond is a good source of food for the tadpoles. Hence why they do so well outside in ponds rather than people's aquariums that try to grow them on that way. So as mentioned earlier, things to feed tadpoles to help them thrive in the pond. Tropical fish flake is a good source of food. Bloodworm, frozen bloodworm or even live bloodworm is good. Frozen daphnia, even frozen brine shrimp, they like stuff like that. Uh, spinach, boiled spinach, you can get frozen spinach as well. Um, like I've shown you, plant plenty of plants around the edges of the pond which will contain pollen which is a good source of food for the tadpoles which will help them thrive and then eventually leave the pond nice and healthy for the next stage of the life. Did I mention they also love algae too? As you can see, they're munching on the algae in the pond. Well, I hope you like the video guys. If you haven't subscribed, why don't you give us a subscribe and you can see more amazing videos like these. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and comment on all our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to see more amazing content like this by UK Amphibians and all things wildlife today.